Today's our first day of pre-production for seizures. You can look at some mate studios. We just picked it for the name. Anyway, follow me. record. Last record was the the place record. I, I like to think of it as it's just a, a bit of a sporadic record for us. It's a little bit different. It's uh, it has a lot more levels than anything we've done before. Uh, the name of the record came from Darren. I was reading a book by this uh, doctor uh, Oliver Sacks and um, he works a lot with the brain and you know um, uh, mentality and you know he has this book called The Man Who Took His Wife for a Hat and there was this chapter about people who have seizures and uh, when they have seizures it takes them back to a time of their life that they can remember. Um, there's an example of a woman who you know starts hearing music that she used to listen to with her mother in the kitchen when she was like five and she never hadn't heard since you know and um, and because you know Turned out she was having a seizure, and that's how she heard that music. There's story upon story of all these people having seizures and, and taking them back to a, a part of their life. And I think this record for me will always bring me back to this part of my life. And, and it is to me what those seizures were to those people. And so I, I found a similarity there. So that's why I chose to call the album Seizures. <laughs> So I don't, I don't think it needs to be playing. I think no, it's kind of cool to end however. Well, if you do it long enough, here's the thing. If you do it long enough, if you rock out the ending long enough and it just falls apart in a cool way, you can always move it up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and, or, tell you and if it doesn't happen in a cool way, we'll fade it out. <laughs> yes. Working with Rob and Doug and Chris has been amazing. I really wanted to work with Rob Schnapp. I think we all really wanted to work with Rob Schnapp because we've been big fans of the work he's done um, for a long time. Me especially the stuff he's done with his lines. Uh, Rob uh, recorded one of my favourite albums of all time, which is uh, Stay What You Are by Saves the Day. It's been a great, a great time working with Rob. He's been like a, he's been a friend, a mentor. You know? Sean does. You know, I, was at I didn't mind really, Darren. Your girl's <laughs> alright. Producer. Uh, a band member. You know, a bit, a bit more hands on than any other producer, I think. It's been really good. With power weapons, does that mean the. Uh... It's just special, like, gun, but like, man. No, I know, I know. But, uh. Oh, of course you know about working to an American film. He's gonna kill me too! I can take it. Look who decides to show up. Maybe yeah, you're calling camera. Got drunk, wore a dress. I'm looking my best. I'm original. Working in LA over the last three months has been incredible. I love LA. A lot of people don't like it. Um, you know, which I can kind of understand because it's very intimidating. But, uh, you know, I, I really feel relaxed here and comfortable. Working in LA has been interesting. Um, in terms of the studios, we've been working in some old school kind of dirty, really cool studios, Sonora and, and Mates. Working in LA, I can't say working in LA. <laughs> working in LA has been, it's been good. It's, it lets you focus uh, on the job at hand, since you don't really have any distractions that you would have at home. Um, so yeah, it's been good. It's, it's cool to be in a new place. It's got a great music scene, you can go out any night of the week and, and see a great band. Um, the weather's usually pretty good. Um, I think everyone's really, really friendly, it's very liberal. How are you guys doing? Yeah, good, thanks. Where are you guys from? Melbourne. Oh, cool. Australia. And like I said earlier, just the whole history of the place and, and just, you know, everywhere you go, there's a story about it, you know, you know, that place from movies or from stories or from books, you know. The anatomy.